people who have a higher sex drive than your spouse, how do you navigate this? Masturbate a lot? I recommend some depression. Should tame that sex drive straight away. Eventually you run through the five stages of grief and end with acceptance. If you head over to the dead bedroom sub you will see that a great many people are struggling mightily to navigate it with most failing to do so, being left frustrated and miserable. Sad to say. Said to be one of them. My wife's sex drive is significantly lower than mine, but she also has a medical condition that doesn't help. Largely if she's not feeling it, even if she tries it can cause a lot of pain. Which is no good for anyone. I don't blame her, in fact I have a tremendous amount of sympathy for her. I know she worries that it will impact our marriage, but I don't let it. It's not her fault. We have been trying to navigate the process since we are trying to have kids. I know it frustrates her just as much as it may be frustrating to me. Ultimately what matters most is that we love each other, and we have each other's backs through thick and thin. That matters more to me than anything else. She shows her love to me in other ways. Lots of cuddling and other love language expressions that demonstrates her affection for me. Ultimately we make it work. It can be tough, but regardless I consider myself incredibly lucky to have this woman in my life. I roleplay as my favorite Star Wars character. Han Solo. In my case, just wait it out. Her sex drive has varied slowly over a wide range, sometimes much higher than mine, and sometimes much lower, and at the moment due to health issues it's not even an option. But sex was never the most important part of our relationship. It's enjoyable but not critical. I have a higher libido than my husband and it's hard. Whenever I initiate and get turned down, I feel unattractive. I can't help it. He might explain he is tired, or already happened to jerk off, he might be stressed, etc. My first instinct is. He doesn't enjoy sex with me. I've discussed it with him and took some breaks from initiating and left it up to him. We went through a phase of radio silence for months, and then slowly he started initiating, but not as much as I would like. First make sure that something isn't killing their sex drive. I'm not even talking medical stuff, which is valid, I'm talking emotional stuff here. For me, my husband destroyed my trust in him, then got mad because I wasn't initiating often enough. Look inward and ask the big questions. Have real talks where you need to be ready to hear that you might not be as great or blameless as you think you are. M. Nejimwa. As someone in this situation and from a fair bit of reading at our dead bedrooms, for the higher drive partner is most often about something other than getting off. It's about the connection and intimacy and knowing that someone else cares about you. As a result there's a huge difference between having the lower drive person take a well this is just the way I am deal with it attitude and one where they care about the difficulties that the situation is causing even if ultimately there's not a whole lot of change. Obviously if it's a huge difference like one wanted once a day and the other is fine with once a year there's not a lot other than figuring out a way to have it happen more often. But oftentimes, if it's a smaller difference just having the lower partner understand and not try to make the other person feel bad for wanting more sex, the problem becomes a lot smaller. Ultimately I just quit. I stopped desiring sex with my partner entirely. 90 of the of subscribers are married guys, so it looks like most are navigating it poorly. Molly. I'm the low libido partner and I hate it because I can see how it makes him sad. I have tried everything. We still do it, but he knows I don't want to be there. Have you tired waiting until you feel unattractive and unwanted? That cured my high sex drive. There is sex to completion, and then there is physical intimacy. If the lower libido person is not into having sex all the time, maybe negotiate other types physical intimacy interactions. Maybe a sleepy BJ that she doesn't need to finish, a lower back butt massage where you lick her entire body. You can get creative when you take the big O off the table. Taking sex off the table a few times, and just being intimate relieves the pressure some lower libido BPL feel. Communicating a lot more helps a lot. Sometimes you have to make it a game where you can talk your way into sex without asking. The longer you are together the more creative you have to be with each other. Hopefully, both BPL are putting effort into the relationship. Masturbation. Doesn't have to involve porn or reflecting fantasizing about someone else. I used to masturbate to the thought of my partner in the past. It frustrates me a bit. Sometimes I feel invalidated because, whenever he wants it, I want it too. And not every time I want it he wants it, which is a deal breaker because he has to want it so that it can happen. I even said to him, that I think my sex drive is way bigger than his, he said it is not possible. That he does want me, but too much of one thing and it stops being fun. I, to me it's great every time, even when I'm not in the mood he has a way of convincing me. And when I'm in the mood and he's not, I masturbate. But only when I'm alone, which makes me feel a bit guilty. I just wait for him to come to me, 
I get myself off, or ask if he wants to help, and sometimes that will get him going and hell join in. I'm not gonna lie, it is frustrating. It can fuck with your self-esteem.